Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Spring Boot Profiles. A Spring Profiles provides a way to segregate parts of your application configuration and make it only available in certain environments. Uh, this is particularly, uh, particularly useful when configuring different environments like prod, uh, dev, test, etc. In the in this uh, video, uh, we will demonstrate how to manage a Spring profiles. So here is Eclipse. Let's go ahead and create a project. So right click over here, uh, go to the new, and here you can see the option a Spring starter projects. So let's create the project. And project name I'm going to specify um, a Spring Boot. Profiles app and package name I'm going to keep as it is com dot dot app and keep everything as it is and click on the next. Now here I'm going to select some modules like uh, first of all I'm going to select web module. Now I'll select dev tools. Uh, why dev tools? Because if I make any changes in my source code, then I don't want to restart the server manually uh, so this will take care when you make any change in source code then dev tools will restart the server automatically that's the benefit of dev tools and now i will select uh, after dev uh, let's select uh, jpa and uh, that's it now let's, let's click on next and database I'm going to select MySQL and let's click on so these are the dependency uh, we have selected you can see over here and let's click on the next now click on the finish So here you can see project is created and all dependency is downloaded from the central repository and uh, remote repository and that is added in maven dependency uh, directory right now if i expand this one src main java then you can see uh, spring boot has created a class automatically with the name of the project and uh, that is suffixed by uh, application and this is this class is annotated as at the rate a spring boot application so this class is considered as a bootstrap class so from here your uh, application uh, starts running so now uh, what i'll do uh, if, you, if you go to the resources folder then currently we have a one property file here i'm going to add uh, something which is called a lot of property you can add like server we can add like a server port server dot port right so which we did in earlier project so 9090 now i'm going to add something is called welcome sorry welcome message and i would say a message hello world and i'm going to add some more property something like this so this is already added so so these are the property basically i have added related to the database or some of the property is related to the jpa right so basically uh, if you are you have a different environment like dev prod or test environment something like that then there is possibility you have a different data source for different environment right so here my uh, by default i want to use the test database uh, but uh, if i go to the uh, let's create a of another property file which or uh, another profile which represents the uh, i mean uh, which holds the configuration data for the different environment like uh, as i discuss you can have a dev environment so so i would say 
and uh, hyphen dev we will have to and this will represent the dev environment for 45 right so dev so this is the way to create a property file for our con property file for different profile like application hyphen you will have to give the environment name and dot property now let's create another property file work for the prod as well right similarly you can create a uh, different property file for different profile so i would write prod so this represents this holds the configuration data for prod environment right and uh, here uh, message i'm going to change hello world from uh, prod right so that just i want to verify when i active i mean uh, prod environment then property uh, which is mentioned in this files uh, must be picked up right and now dev so i would say from dev right so and uh, uh, for dev i want to use uh, dev db db and uh, so dev db and for prod environment i want to use a schema prod db so these two schema will have to create in my mysql so let's open the mysql console so here is my mysql command prompt and here you need to specify the username once you log in then you can verify like show databases and this will list out the all existing a schema or database name now let's create a create database uh, i would say d dev db so this will create the dev database and i would say prod db so this will create these two database if you now query the so uh, databases then you can see this prod db and dev db so now basically i am using the mysql for all these three profiles so basically this property file will represent the uh, default profile if you you do not have any active profile then property file will be picked up from this if you have uh, uh, if you make active some particular profile like prod profile then property file will be uh, picked up from this and if you active their profile then property file will be active from the uh, uh, application dev property file so now uh, what i'll do i'm going to create a class uh, basically and that class is nothing but a controller this controller i'm going to create and i would say my controller Here I'm going to create a message, and this message, the message I want to get from the property file using value annotation, right? Which we have learnt in a Spring. Value annotation. And here you can say value equals to dollar and here you need to specify the key. So key we have given the welcome and dot message. This is the key which is present in the every property file, right? This is the key, just you need to specify. This is present in every property file. Now uh, let's create a one simple API. REST API which returns the simple a message right and this is gonna return message right and this is going to annotate with get map get mapping and let's specify uh, URL pattern slash so this will basically represent the home page when you query the home URL of this project then this message will be 
displayed on the browser right so now now so this message is coming from the different uh, property file right with different value now i want to create a data source for every environment and that we can verify from here here i am going to do private data source and this import will happen from the javax.sql and data source and here just i am going to write at the rate auto y auto wired so a spring will uh, look into this property file if uh, all properties is required to create the uh, data source will be available then auto that automatically creates the uh, data source for you and that you can inject in your project in any class like this and you can make use of that now this class i'm going to implement this class is going to implement uh, something is called command command line runner and uh, in that case this class has to implement one method and there i'm going to just display data source information so that we can verify uh, data uh, data source has been been will change profile then will make active profile for different environment then just we want to print the data source information and we'll make sure that uh, data source is created for the uh, active profile only right now let's run this application now i'm going to run this application now at this time there is no profile active so property files should pick up from this application dot properties right Now here you can see data source information we have printed over here and here you can see entire details about the data source and uh, when you look into the URL then you can see test database is getting used and if you look into over here application dot property so this is using the test database. So this is working perfectly fine for data source now let's go to the URL let's open a URL http colon localhost colon 9090 that's our port number and here you can see uh, what message is coming so uh, we should get a message something like this so let me verify why not this is coming Sorry guys, I forgot to annotate this class at other rate. Uh, rest controller. Rest controller. And once you save this class, then you can see server is getting restarted automatically because dev tools uh, came into action. Now if I go and query this URL, then we are getting this response from the default profile. Now let's uh, change the profile. Now I go to the property file and here parent property file what I'll do uh, I'll specify a property a spring dot uh, profile sorry I don't know why this auto support is not there so a spring dot active sorry profile active and that I have to do dev at this time property files should pick up from the tape so now our server has started automatically and you can see the data source information now now if you look into the url uh, database url then saying that dev db so now property file is picked up from the dev and if i uh, query this one then saying that hello world from the dev this is this output is coming from the dev similarly if you go and active the uh, prod profile like prod and if I save this this property file then server has it started automatically and here you can verify data source information right and now you can see prod db and if I go to the browser and if I hit then hello world from the prod so here you can see all profiles are 
uh, working perfectly fine. So next video.